surgery over, and the little boy is reunited with his sister, the only one of Eulalia's babies to escape unharmed. But if they're going to survive, they'll need round-the-clock care and feeding. Eulalia herself seems unfazed by the havoc she's created. But although she wants nothing more to do with her babies, she still has an important part to play. If the babies are to have the best possible chance of surviving, they need her milk. The problem is, Eulalia would attack them if she saw them, so there's only one thing for it. The babies are safe in the incubator, and Eulalia is now anaesthetized. It's time for perhaps the most important meal of their lives. Should we get the little boy out? Yeah. He's super grippy. Click. Yeah, he's still, I mean, he's still using that hand to hold mine. And um, she's got milk on both sides. Boy. Do you want to put her on the other side? Thank you. Thank you. Can you go and have it a bit more? She'd be angry if you knew. She'd be furious. You let them near me? The first milk that primates produce is known as colostrum, a nutrient rich cocktail packed full of immunity boosting antibodies, which it's almost impossible to replicate. Dom is relieved that at least this part of the process has gone to plan. Well done, little boy, little girl. I think it's time to wake your mum up. Over the next few days, a round-the-clock feeding rotor is established for the twins. And tonight, I'm going to see how Dom gets on with his first shift, looking after the tiny tamarinds. It's seven o'clock, the zoo's been shut for ages, but for Dom, the night's work has only just started. Hi, Dom. Brilliant. Hello. First night with them. With these two, yeah. There's been many before these. <laughs> with pies. <laughs> this little female, she's really rooting around now. She's really... Looking for food, I can see her, she is. So I think... Give me some food now. Help. So here we go. You've got one mil. One mil. Oh, nice one mil. Right, specs on. This is yeah. serious stuff. Just put your thumb under her chin. Right. Okay. And then just let a latch on. Now that's it. Now you're in control. You see now. There you go, lovely. With my kids, Dom. Mm -hmm. It was a long time ago, but we just used to stuff it in until they stopped. <laughs> yeah. I think. Well, hopefully these guys in two two weeks, three weeks time, they'll be. Crazy like that. Okay. Let's just let that go down a bit, you know. Okay, just let nice that. Bit of... It's amazing the way they just mm. grip on like this. And this is a really good sign you've got a strong baby, you know. Oh, I don't know how you can do that. <laughs> you're going through the... <laughs> but it's got to hang on to You're go, going through the jungle. Yeah, at a breakneck speed. And you've seen they... them, haven't you? Yeah, the, we've the speed seen them that doing that it, yeah. <laughs> so... Hang about. She's you've got, got to hang, hang on. on, yeah. And they are, they're like, you, if you try and take them off, they're like... Yeah. But he's yeah. got this bad paw, so he's just yeah. that little bit more... No, exactly, yeah. Be a bit more careful yeah. with him. So, Dom, these little ones won't be going back yeah. to the wild, but hopefully their children or their children's children, they might one day go back to the rainforest. They might well, and let's dream. hope there's still rainforest for them, and yeah. that's what we're fighting for, like mad. And when you take on a difficult species, you have to be there to help them every step of the way.